Good morning Brisbane. I'm at Murray at the moment and I've just taken the train down to Murray and I'm walking towards Murray Reserve, I think it's called, along the road that borders the train station and the reserve. So here we go. It's going to be a fine day today. And we've got a festival coming up, so this will be very exciting. Can you see something in the distance already? Look at that. Wide open spaces here, people riding bikes. Around the place. And even a few birds I can hear around the place, so that's pretty encouraging. So I was um, brought to, to post something on Facebook this morning. I posted something about checking your privilege. And I think that I'm a very privileged person in many ways. Underprivileged in some ways because I'm an involuntary client of Mental Health Authority. But I'm also highly privileged in the fact that I live in a city where the virus pandemic has not spread spread prolifically like in India for example at the moment and I can just go out in the world where I am at least in the city that I'm living in and participate in society and do all the activities and events and beautiful recreational things which many people cannot do anymore so, uh, without a mask especially so I feel very lucky that way Okay folks, I'm going to bring you around soon to where the kites are. Just a few minutes more and I'll be walking that way. I'm walking around the river at the moment. There's a river flowing through here. So, <clears throat> or a creek I should say. But, um, I'm always careful to check my privilege, I'm always careful to check where my wisdom's coming from because I'm a wise person. I make all the right decisions in my life, but I'm also very privileged because I have so many advantages, uh, whether it be financial, spiritual, moral and ethical. I'm a very, very well-rounded person and I feel very lucky to be the person that I am and to be alive on this earth. Despite the fact that there are so many problems and we have to deal with those problems, we have a responsibility to take care of each other and that includes all animals on this planet who live with us.
So there's the Dirty Creek. It's not a very pretty sight as you can imagine. Um, it's pretty, probably pretty polluted. So that's just the way life is these days in a modern city like this. So I don't know where the rest of the festival is. I can't see all of the festival at the moment, but I saw a little bit of it. And I thought it's not that big, but there might be more stuff coming out. It's only I don't know what time it is, I think it's just before 10 o'clock now. So the official start of the festival is 10 o'clock. I imagine the peak of the festival would be at about 12, so I'm very, very early and I may stick around till then or I may not. Depends on how things go. Walking up the hill now, or up the slope. And there, my friends, are a lot, a lot of kinds. Let's take a few pictures of that kite up there. It's a beautiful flying fish, isn't it? The blue fish there. Is it a whale or a shark? Can you see that? Let's try and keep that just there. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. This is such a large field. You can see how expansive the field is. It's like that far around. And in the middle of these people flying kites. It's just like the small part of it. But um, I will have to inquire where the rest of the festival is because I'm absolutely not sure. So how's life with everyone who's watching this? Um, are you coping with the pandemic? Are you coping with life in general? Are you making interesting decisions about your life and where you're going? And of course, are you checking your privilege? Do we have the privilege to breed children and animals and consume animals and allow children to consume animals? That's the problem at the moment that we have to deal with. Uh, the main problem in our, in our lives. And it's a long-term problem because we make decisions that are, cause us to have to make up for ourselves to compensate for our bad decisions in the past. I don't know what sort of worm that is, but it's like a snake or something. Very beautiful. Well, that blue shark has been grounded for some reason, but I'm sure it will fly up again. There it goes, flying up into the air again. What a beautiful atmosphere out here. Now where I'm standing here, friends, is actually, looks like a cricket pitch, an old cricket pitch. It's been unused for so long that it's been overgrown with grass so you can see the remnants of that I'm going to get as close as I possibly can to that flying shark and get a good picture of that so here we go 
is an astronaut. As I can see over there, there's some stools up there, some tents, marquees, whatever you want to call them, and there's some probably some shops, some people selling food there and stuff. So we'll check that out later on. But look at that, folks. Just look at that. Yeah, travelling to space is obviously a privilege, a great privilege on this, if you live in this society that we live in, and it's very expensive of course, and I think that we need to concentrate a lot more on the earth itself and how we deal with the people living in poverty and in squalor on earth, rather than looking at outer space all the time. But of course there are people who are rich enough to want to do that. Billions and billions of dollars to spend, and lots of time as well. They will spend time on projects like going into space, and it's not a world that I deal with. But um, the allurement is always there, and it's unfortunate we don't deal with the problems on this planet first. So. This really is my kind of festival, I guess, except for the fact that they wouldn't offer much vegan food here, but apart from that, it's a charity type of festival. And I think it's an opportunity to edify other people on the issues in the society. field I'm walking a long way uh, a few hundred meters at least towards the stalls over that side and I can see a few over that side too which is pretty cool it's a windmill which is quite beautiful other windmills over there. So you can imagine um, the interest in this festival because it started before 10 o'clock. <laughs> Most people have been here before probably 9 I think. So they've cheated on the timing here, come very early, which is probably an indication of interest more than anything else. There's people playing soccer right over the other side, I don't know if you can see on this camera, but I'll try and zoom in on them. Um, people playing soccer over the other side there. 
from that field. Walk towards this area here. With these festivals, there's usually more than meets the eye when you've look, come from far away. There's hardly anything, and then you come close, and there's heaps of interesting little things. So, we'll have a look at those. Jumping castle. Everyone's taking their kite these days. Today. A couple of people over there taking their kite with them. Trying to fly the little kites. I certainly wouldn't be fit enough to climb that climbing column. I'm far too fit, far too big for that, I think. I weigh 98 kilos at the moment, which is um, pretty disappointing at the moment for me. Compared to my last six months, I've been the same weight for the last six months at least. So I've not lost anything or I've gained a few kilos even, so I'm disappointed with myself. Couldn't climb a climbing column like that. It's not a jumping castle, it's a larger one, small, slightly less tall, slightly shorter. But inside there must be a lot of people already. It's only about 10 o'clock now. There's a few more kites over here, quite a few in fact, I can see dozens of kites on this side. Dozens of beautiful kites.
Go and look if they have any vegan food here. They've got a potato, hot baked potato store here. See if they've got any vegan food here. They've all got butter in them. Well, this one's got vegetarian. They've all got butter. This is a sushi trailer, food trailer. Vegetable tempura is one of the options, but what else do they have? Seaweed salads, vegetable spring rolls. Pizza, wood fired pizza. Looks like I'm not having much luck with the vegan food today, folks. Popcorn is an option. Popcorn bucket, five dollars. And coffee. Well, folks, that's the whole festival so far. I think that's all of it. And I don't know if there's going to be any more stuff coming out in the next couple of hours, but it's certainly been an interesting walk around. I'm going to try and find a vegan pizza or something. Hopefully they'll have one, but I'm not sure they have the vegan cheese there for us. So I'm going to try. And um, in the meantime, have a lovely day. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Bye for now.